Python doc strings provide a convenient way of associating documentation with Python modules, functions, classes, and methods. In this video, we will learn to create doc strings and understand how and why they are used. So let's get started. Doc strings are basically multi-line comments inside functions, methods, modules, classes, and so on. So before we dig deeper into doc strings, let's revise multi-line comments first. As we know, we can either use triple single quotes or triple double quotes to create multi-line comments. Let me give you an example. So in my code editor, I'll say quotation mark, quotation mark, quotation marks takes two parameters, returns sum. Now let me end the comment by saying triple quotation mark again. And then I can say def add numbers a, b, this will return the sum of a and b. Now I can say print add underscore numbers 5 comma 10. Now I'll save this, go to my terminal and say python main dot pi. You can see that the expected output was returned. Here these lines are comments as they are inside triple quotation marks. These lines are ignored by the python interpreter. Now we are ready to learn about doc strings. I have this code from our last example on my screen. Let me modify this program a bit and put this comment inside the function definition. Now this comment code inside the function is a doc string. For a multi-line comment to be a doc string, it must be the first line of a function, class, module, and so on. Now, if I hover over the function call, I can see the documentation on how to use this function. This can be really helpful if you are working in a team and have to use other people's code. If we want, we can also print the doc string from our program using the doc attribute. Let me show you how. So below this code, I'll say print add underscore numbers dot underscore underscore doc underscore underscore. Now let me close this bracket, save this program, open up my terminal and I'll say python main dot pi. Something is wrong. It does not have, okay, add underscore numbers dot, there's an extra underscore here. Let me save. Let me run this program again. And you can see that whatever I had typed inside this is printed here. Here, this underscore underscore doc underscore underscore or dunder doc is a special attribute that prints the doc string. If the doc string is not available, it prints none. You can use the doc attribute to also print the doc string on inbuilt functions, modules, and so on. Let me give you an example. So let me first clear this terminal. I'll remove this old code. And then here, let me hide the terminal. And here, I'll say import math. And then I can say print math dot underscore underscore doc underscore underscore similarly i can say print math dot sqrt dot underscore underscore doc underscore underscore and let me save this open up my terminal and say python main dot pi and you can see that this module is always available it provides access to the mathematical functions defined by the c standard which means this is a doc for math module and similarly sqrtx returns the square root of x, which is the documentation for the square root function of the math module. If your code editor supports it, you can see doc strings by hovering over modules. So let me hover over math and hovering over functions and methods like this. By the way, if you're finding this video useful, a sub to the channel would be much appreciated. Before moving to the next section of the video, the Programmist team has created an app that allows you to learn Python from your phone. The app contains bit-sized lessons that are easier to understand, a built-in interpreter so that you can run Python on your phone, quizzes, and many more features. The app is available on both iOS and Android. The links are in the video description. Writing doc string is pretty easy. However, there are a few things we should keep in mind while creating doc strings. First, a doc string must be the first statement in a module, function, or class. Otherwise, it's not considered a doc string. Second, we cannot use regular comments that start with a hash to create a doc string. Even though this comment is a first line inside the function, 
It's not a doc string because it's not a multi-line comment. And the last thing you need to remember is that doc string must not be descriptive, rather they must follow do this, return that structure. For example, just by looking at the source code, we know that the add numbers function takes two arguments and returns their sum. Also, it's a good habit of ending the doc string with a full stop. That's it for this video. If you want to revise these concepts, you can find all these programs in our GitHub repository. I'll also put this link in the video description. And if you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so that you get notified when we release the next video. Happy programming.